Right. <laughs> well, this is our third podcast. Mm-hmm. Our third pearl. Two pearls in a pod. And I'm Becky. And I'm Cheryl. And we haven't done a ton of knitting. No, not since our last, last two weeks. Mm-hmm. But we've done a ton of shopping. Mm-hmm. So we're going to share that with you today. It is an acquisition episode. <laughs> so we'll see. Like, yeah, there's a lot going on here. Yeah. Um, yeah. How was your uh, How was your week? Oh, it's been a little bit, a little bad. Not, it could have been better, I guess. Um, so I have rheumatoid disease, rheumatoid arthritis, and I have had some serious jaw issue going on. And I cried at work yesterday, so that is not good. Um, yeah, I had a I had a bad couple of days. I'm feeling better today, and we're leaving for Puerto Rico in the morning. And I so tomorrow it will be sunny and 82. Sunshine therapy. It That'd will, because right now when I drove over here, um, it was well, it's sunny for the most part, but it's mm-hmm. 23 degrees. So it's deceiving. 23 Sunshine's degrees is deceiving. no good. Well, since our last podcast, I had a horrible cold, but I got through that pretty fast feel much better but it kind of messed up my knitting schedule Mm -hmm. (laughs) so yeah my little my RA flare messed up my knitting schedule I slept all weekend and it's hard we needed to get some last minute items for our cruise and our vacation and so that happened yesterday instead of Sunday there was no way I could have recorded on Sunday. No Stacked way. Stacked up yarn for your cruise. Well, the yarn is almost packed, but that is the most stressful part is packing. And then and the, the needles. Most important. Well, yeah, and the needles going through TSA, everybody said, or it says that there it's okay, but then it says it's at the discretion of the agent. And I'm like, well, what if my agent didn't have coffee this morning? What, and then I'm what like, gonna, my signature needles not are. A knitter. Uh-huh, I'm like, my those signature needles are. Like, I'm going to end up arrested. It'll be like, Knitter ends up arrested in Detroit. Yeah. They might be a woodworker and go, no, they're not wood needles. Mm -hmm. We can't have them, so. Yeah, well, it said to take plastic or wood needles, so I took plastic. I switched everything over to the plastic, and then I put the needles I like in my check bag. So... Because I don't see myself knitting on these needles all the time. I'm a snob. Well, I'll be going on the train to Florida, so hopefully I'll do okay with my needles there too. So, so we'll be back then the next time we podcast to talk about some new yarn adventures. Then, yeah. So hopefully that'll be I'm drag my sister to. Mm-hmm. Maybe I can get my sister to knit, right, Sandy? Maybe I can get Don to knit. Ooh. We'll go to Madeiras, and I think that's how you say it, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. It's the <coughs> only place down there, I think, when I Googled it. So we'll For knitting. Listen. Yeah, we rented a car because we're going to go to Harley stores down there in the yarn store. So I thought, why not? We'll just rent a car. We're going to be in Puerto Rico for three days. Um, so like 24 hours from now, we'll be, should be landing if everything's on schedule. They say I'll still have internet and everything. My phone will work just like we're here when I'm in Puerto Rico. So I'll be able to text My, uh, my daughter wants us to go to Disney or on a Disney cruise. And I would much rather, I'd rather go on the Disney cruise, but now she's saying maybe Disney, they'll go to Mm -hmm. Disney and, and then maybe we'll do a cruise later, but I just really, we already did the Disney Park thing with the kids, and I don't, I think I'm done with that. What so, about a knitting cruise? That would Maybe be we should nice. do a knitting cruise. Yeah. That New England knitting cruise in the yeah. fall, except it might interrupt Rhinebeck. Rhinebeck! Mm-hmm. And I believe that we're going to go to Yarn Con, so... We're going. No, she doesn't believe anything. (laughs) We're going on the train from Toledo Uh, to Chicago the first weekend in April. We have some other people from our store that are interested in going. I need to get with a couple other people and... Get it all lined up. Get it together, so... We'll see. We'll see. I'm... No, we're going to Yarn Con. That's not if we go, like, that's... A day trip. Well, Saturday, we took a little yarn adventure, and there was a trunk show at the Yarn Garden, and it's pronounced Charlotte. Is that Yeah, right? Charlotte, Michigan. Charlotte, Michigan. It's um, southwest of Lansing. 
So and here's, how far from us do you think it is? A couple well, I hours. I think it was about two and a half hours. Okay, from our house. And part of the reason we had been there once before and loved loved the store, the yarn garden, and um, the Lindsay Lindsay Potter is the she calls herself the head gardener. And if you're ever in the area, go. It is oh, the most nice. adorable store I've ever mm-hmm. seen. It's it's beautiful. And um, lots of gnomes and everything garden themed, but the yarn is amazing. Mm-hmm. And Why Not Fibers was there for a trunk show. So we were pretty excited about that because we just recently saw them on an interview with Christy Glass and Kate and Claire. We got to meet Kate and Claire. Yeah, visit and, with them for a little and bit. And took some photographs. So I will insert, I'll try my best to insert some photographs maybe here right around this segment and um, mm-hmm. see if it works. Or not. I should have so. printed up the pattern because I have Why Not Yarn. This was yeah. a gradient that they had and the it was a scarf or like a cowl and it... Really interesting know, it how interesting it, looped, it looped through so, and... Yeah, we'll that have was, to. Yeah, so that was one of my. Are little you taking treasures. that with you to work? Oh no. no, you didn't print off the pattern. No, yet. I didn't print okay. off the pattern, and I didn't. It didn't wind like I don't. I'm not prepared for this. Well, one of the things on our our search, our adventure, we were looking for some yarn to do Hohe's Odyssey, and so we did get one of the yarns from. Um, why not fiber to put in mm-hmm. in our odyssey this i got this sparkle it, it has you can mm-hmm. kind of yeah, see the sparkle good. yeah mm-hmm. yep it's called starlet it's a dk weight and it's called red spire so then at the yarn garden i went ahead and found some which one is it this one Mm-hmm. Did I get both my other colors there? I think I did. Yeah, everything. So, I don't... Oh, I love that tweet. AJHC Wools. And this is... What's the color? Irish Tweed, D, DK in color. It says... It looks like O L O F N. I don't know. Yeah. And then I got this Tweedy one that is... Farmer's Daughter Fiber. So these are going to be my my Hohe uh, Odyssey. Shawl, Odyssey Shawl. Which these are not my normal colors, so I'm anxious. I think, I think it'll look nice on me still. So I bought, also did. bought Starlet from Why Not Fibers for part of my Odyssey. And it was this one. Love my army green. Always love that. And then I bought this at Yarn Garden also. It's showing I love good. that color. Irish tweed. The color is jungle foliage. And then we went to Woven Art, another shop, and that was in East Lansing. Mm-hmm. And it was really, it was nice also. Look, you know what I did? I held this up with these, didn't I? Yeah, and was and it, wasn't it the brown one? one? I like it together, though. But was it the but brown one? this is actually what I got to go with it. Yes. But that doesn't look bad. Mm-mm. But you bought but the... Yeah, that's got... This is going to be it. Mm-hmm. Whoops. Hey, so. it's real life, people. Yes. So it, at Woven Art, this is... 100% merino. It's D- it says juicy DK. Huh. Farmer's daughter was the color. So there's and this now hold them up together. together. They're so pretty together. All together. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. These are not my typical colors. So we we're we we're if trying I like to like it do better. Something. We're gonna have to trade. I don't know about that. <laughs> we were trying to both do something kind of outside. Of what we're normally used to or a normal wheelhouse. So yes. Um, and at again at Woven Art, 
I got this mohair. It's called Mighty Mo. Mm -hmm. And it's also the, um, what is it, Farmer's Daughter. Do you wind and it I got together, it to go or, with this. I, no, or do you I don't just think, hold so. it I think separate. you just strand them sep oh. separate and hold them together. And I don't, I thought maybe I'd do a hat, but I like it so much and I'm afraid. Since I haven't found a hat that I really like on me, uh -huh. I think I'm just going to... Um, I'm just gonna wear them like this. Like Goldilocks. <laughs> yeah. This hat, so too big. I'm I'm almost regretting not maybe getting more, but I need to figure out. Maybe we I'll can go just back go and back get more uh -huh. and don't go back know, without I, me. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with it, but it's so beautiful. It's just so pretty. Yeah, I like that so. a lot. Yeah, we can always go back. So, did you hear anything else from Yarn Garden? Because the first time we went to Yarn Garden, no, I did not bring. I um I bought this. Half dozen roses, and she had it. She had it wrapped really pretty, but I messed it up. So, but these are little minis, and if you bought the six minis, she gave this pattern that she called, wrote. That I she think, wrote. Right? Yes, it's yeah, Lindsay, Lindsay Potter. Potter, and it's hold it right in front of your face. No, <laughs> I'm good with that. So. Anyway, this is a free pattern when you buy the... Or I think you the, can buy the dozen. pattern on Ravelry, too. Can you? Okay. I, I think she said you could. Okay. Not 100% sure on yeah, that. Sure. Sorry if you can't. But that's from Yarn Garden. Yeah, so, that's really, really pretty. So I that's all I bought, but... Listen to you. Fashion that's, your seatbelt, because sure I'm not done. Well, and here I wanted to... We could share this also. This is the card from Woven Art... Um, they gave us and, the, and their hours and everything i mean every, you can always look that up online very nice we would go back and there i will put some pictures of their shop too it was a very cute shop and they were very nice in mm -hmm. there and it was spacious um, it was very very spacious yes um yes. so that was is that all i bought oh no well no, the weekend we, we went to you Scott. got this from uh oh we're all over the board here. Yeah, we are. This little, did you I get one of these? That. I did, but, you know, I left it at home since uh -huh. we're at my house. Since we're at your house. <laughs> this was from uh, Woven Art. It was just, I always like the notions that are kind of local to the area. It's pretty small. Maybe, I don't know what I'll carry in it. I've never seen it. I don't know what I'll carry in it. Little chocolates, maybe. There you go. Know. Emergency Some, chocolate. Emergency chocolate. I was crying yesterday at work, and when I came home, I Could ate my emergency, emergency candy chocolate. bar. No, I ate my emergency candy bar when I came home. Yeah. So I can't have any more emergencies because I'm not going back to Walmart. I have my best little mug. I'm not a great grandma, though. I'm the greatest. You're a marvelous grandma. I'm just not a grandma. great grandma, though. Mm -hmm. Even though the guy at the movie theater thought so. <laughs> <laughs> have you arped today? Uh, yeah, no, I have not. Um, well, then... So we went to Spun in Ann Arbor. Yes, I. There was something else. Oh, the the. Did I say the um why not fiber the the trunk show that was there? Did I mention that they they're from Traverse City, Michigan? I don't think so. You they're did. local. Well, local to this area, Michigan, mm -hmm. is close to us. They're going to so. be at YarnCon. Yes, they will be at YarnCon. They have mm -hmm. a cute website. I looked it up today, mm -hmm. and I can't say enough about how sweet. Um, Kat and Claire were, yeah, they were they fun were to talk fun. to. And, and if you watch the Christy Glass interview, that that's exactly who she is. Yeah. So. Yeah, she just is Delightful. bubbly and yeah. just fun to be with. Yes. And uh, Claire had on the cutest knitted skirt. Oh, it was, was adorable. really cute. So mm -hmm. I would, I, I think I'd need to look into making one of those. Um, yeah, it's very along cute. Along with all the other projects I have going on. Yes. Um, so, so then our travels took us to Ann Arbor, Spun, which is in mm -hmm. Ann Arbor. And, well, hold on. So I was in <laughs> Chicago, and and I, we talked about this with the first podcast or last. I don't remember which podcast we talked about. I went to Chicago for to the Harley dealer to go to a gala thing for the new owners. And we went to, I think, six yarn stores in two days. If you ask Don, he would probably say it six. was like 12, but it was 16. probably six. Yeah. So, 
while I was there, I found these bags that I had been seeing online and other people talking about by Twig and Horn, and I didn't buy it. Bad mistake. So I, we're on the turnpike driving back from there, and I'm texting Becky saying, check out these bags. Had you heard of them before that? Or um, No. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. So they were pricey. I don't, I'm not saying what the cost was because I don't, in case Don watches this, I don't, he doesn't need to know the cost of that. So I didn't buy it. It was, it was expensive. And then I regretted Same price it. As new pipes for his motorcycle. No, no it, was, it was less, way less than that. But, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, way less than those. That was expensive. Okay. Um, so I, we didn't buy it. Then you text me on last Friday. Right, because I saw it on... One of the millions it, of podcasts. Was it the new one that... I think it was those girls from Canada. Was The it? Forest City Girls? Did they talk about... Uh, Forest City Horn? Girls. I think one of them may have got it. I don't. I see it on sure. Hopefully, I'm not things. getting her in trouble because she maybe didn't get one, and now everyone's gonna. No, no I don't. Now know. she's gonna want one though. <laughs> now you should go get one. one. Yes, yes. Hopefully, sidetrack again. But Cheryl um, messaged messaged them in rav- in Ravelry. Yes. Uh-huh. So hopefully, at some point, we can get together with them and. One of us needs to get a passport, so, right? Yeah, so I need a passport. Still no passport, so we still, like, there'll only yes. be one pee in the pod going across yes. the bridge over to Windsor. Yes. Um. So Becky texts me on Wednesday, and I'm at work, and it was a crazy day at work. And she said, on the train, I think I need a twig and horn bag because they're, what is it, wax canvas. Yes. And I'm like, man, I just got over my obsession for this twig and horn bag. I really wanted to get one. And so I started researching on Friday night places that sold them. Mm-hmm. And Spun in Ann Arbor sold those bags. So our, on our way to Yarn Garden, we called them. Mm-hmm. And? And lo and behold, they had some. They had two green ones because we actually both wanted yes. the green ones. So mine is packed and ready for the flight tomorrow. You know, I did like the blue one, but already you could see like fuzzies and stuff sticking to it, like mm-hmm. like cat hair and miscellaneous. You know, so train, miscellaneous this one seemed to be um, has it has four outside pockets. Yes, and then and it has a, a zip divider in the center. Careful, you keep getting off the screen over there. Here we go inside. I can't. I have it packed already. Yeah. So, so in the zipper go. pouch, I have my notions bag yep. just sitting in there. Um, so this is going to be my travel bag, my personal bag tomorrow. On and it has the crossbody strap, which is really straps. nice. So. so we got our twig and horn bags on Friday or on Saturday. That was, I should have bought that bag last month. I knew it. I didn't buy it. So now we have. It's all good. Mm -hmm. So, what else have you got over there? Right. So, that is that day. So, a couple weeks ago, Don and I went to. um, I can lure him out to go to the Harley dealers and Mm -hmm. then the yarn stores will come. He knows it. Like, he just pretends like he doesn't, but. It's not a. A real surprise, even the yeah, the needle, like the Needlecraft Travel Companion. I have the book, but the app is so nice on the phone. And now there's also in Ravelry, you can put in your location, and the yarn stores will pop up. I've seen that on oh, Facebook. Today. I didn't know that. I'll show it to you before I leave. So we went over to Fort Wayne, which is about two hours from here, and without me again. Yeah, it was a Harley day. Okay, yes. and. Uh, so we get we went to well we went to the yarn stores first because I didn't want to be I didn't want them to close and there is a place mm-hmm. called the Simply Sock Yarn Company and it's it's mostly an online business but they're open like four or five days a month it's strange hours well they were gonna be open on this on that Saturday on February sixteenth so I wanted to go and that is the place where I spend I have historically spent the most amount of money in one purchase is at that store because they're only open does a little bit. Does it still hold the record or maybe now Spun does? 
No, the first time we went to Simply Sock. Okay. When me, you, and Jane went to that. That was that was dangerous. That was a lot of money was left behind at that store. So I bought, I don't have a lot of, this is just going into stash. So I don't actually even have projects for what I bought. Um, I hear a lot of talk about spun right round. And this is, where is my mind? Which is probably, <laughs> which That's is probably though. where was my mind when I bought all this. So, yes, yeah, spun right round. Um, it's really soft. Squish too. DK. Very soft. Um, I don't know what is going to happen with this. And when I come Make back a nice from, hat. I don't know, maybe or put it in a fade and add it to the rest of them. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah. Um, when I come back from vacation, I need to, I need some yarn organization. Something's something's got to happen because we should make a podcast out of that. We could cut and edit a lot. We'd need to edit a we whole lot. Yeah. yeah. It's, it is no bueno that my room is a hot mess. Um, yeah, it's, I need to buy something else. I just don't know what that method, what that organization is going to be. I don't, I don't know. What I have going on well, now I, is. I find that, found a new uh, room that I want to redecorate my room. I'll show you the picture. You go ahead and show that. So Wooly Wonka, and this is called Whoville. Oh, I love that. Sock yarn, 50% silk, and then 50% superwash wool. 435 yards, Wooly Wonka. I thought that was really cute. And that, that sock yarn store, they have so much... It, it's overwhelming. It's such a cute place too. It's in this little, it's like an old post office that they redid. It is, it's really cute. We need to go back there though. I'm feeling for stash enhancement. <laughs> so th then I found this sparkly green and purple, which seems to be my thing this, this coming spring. This is Zen Yarn Garden. Um, I think that this is dyed up nice in Canada. I think it's like too. in Sarnia, Canada. When I when I googled them, it says ninety percent super fine super wash merino and ten percent sparkling nylon. It's called aloof. I thought that was really, that's cute. I like that. How about some Madeline Tosh? Hand dyed. This is black and gray. I don't see a lot of this, and this would go with a lot of things that... Is there... Oh, the, just the tie is purple. It's not... Yeah, I think just the tie was purple. All right, I found this on Pinterest, but this is what I oh. want to turn my room into. Look how cute this is. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. There, that's good. That is super cute. So we could be coming to you from so Becky's yarn room. like to turn my yarn that, room into that. Isn't that, that cute? Carpet, that rug is really cute. And then today I may have ordered some mm. <laughs> some Dash fabric oh. with pea pods on yeah. it with our logo pea pods on it. With our logo pea pods? So I just got a fabric. Yeah, I can tell by the way you're looking that that is going to be a pricey fabric. It is. But she looks like the cat that ate the canary. <laughs> I only got a fat quarter to see if it's something that we would like to do, and then maybe mm -hmm. we can make some special bags for our special people. Two pearls in a pod. Mm -hmm. So nice. Ooh, did you show that? That's not pretty. yet. Ooh, like this that. is Manos del Uruguay, the Alegria. This was my last acquisition from Simply Sock. Um, I highly recommend that store if you're yes. like ever depressed and you just need some yarn therapy, like go to it. Well, I did, I did, um, from my archives, I pulled out a pair of socks. Remember, do you have more to show? I do. More? I'm not done yet. Oh, well, go ahead. Do that first and then I'll show my socks. So that I... I didn't realize there was more. There's always more. Then there's, wait, but wait, there's more. Knitting off Broadway. This was my second store of the day. Oh, that's right. Another one she went to without me. Fort Wayne. So this one. Ooh, um, a little crinkling I for your pleasure. <laughs> Sockhead Call. 
out of this. This was, they have a really nice sales section. So it was like, it would have been fiscally irresponsible to not buy this. It was 30% off. So true. So I just believe that this would have been a big regret in my life. I have a kind of a sock head hat I want to finish and then I'm going to put this on the needles next. Um, I have a thing about these little thing, these little guys. That's kind of a new obsession, too. Mm -hmm. I minis. think that these are going to end up being decorations no, in my yard room, like probably. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It'll look good with my... That looks better with it than the orange that I picked out. You want to try I like it. And then I had... Um, You're not showing your receipt, are you? No. <laughs> Well, the receipt's not bad for that. It was at the sock yarn store. Like, my my hair's at that point where it's like, okay, Nina, I need a haircut. I got mine done last week. She did. She cut. It looks a nice. Good amount I off. Like Lisa it. did. You know how like me wrong. one day it's fine, and then you wake up the next morning and go, I need the a haircut. Yeah, it's time. All right, big bad wool. Love Big Bad Wool. If you have never touched Big Bad Wool, you should. Oh, it's so It good. is so This soft. was the free pattern that I chose to go with my Big Bad Wool for baby hats. Everybody at work is having a baby. So Everybody? No. Well, not, not me, everybody. but because my kids, my boys are not having children, I hope. Not yet. Um, not yet. I, I am... In the market for a daughter-in-law, but if you if you're crafty and oh my god, sweet, if he sees this, he's gonna kill you me. You know, we'll we'll just mm -hmm. you know send us a note and we'll interview right. you. We're looking. I'm looking for a <laughs> scrapbooker because I have a lot of scrapbook supplies that I want to get rid of, and so I spend time at Joanne Fabrics looking for my son. His name is Dakota. He'll be 27 in April. Have you seen Trolls? I don't know. He's gonna. No, I haven't. But mm. if he She's ever watches this, too. So. if he ever watches this, he's Princess gonna Poppy. murder me. He has. We're looking for somebody like Princess Poppy on the Trolls. I don't. I'll have to find out what that is. <laughs> he's gonna. I know he doesn't watch this, but if like he ever goes back and watches them, he's gonna not be happy with his mother. Like when we get famous or something. Mm -hmm. Or or like I pass away and then he goes back and he's missing me and then I'll be like, oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why did I miss her? Why did her? I miss her? <laughs> um, so I had one last place Do I know that about this? Stopped. I don't know about this, um, do I? It was called Reverie and it was in Goshen. I think Beth from Black Sheep Girls, um, Beth Fulton, I think it's Fulton. Okay. Not, yeah. not new Beth, because we have new Beth, no, I but know. we have old Beth. Old, old Beth. I love that. Old, old Beth, Grandma Beth. <laughs> old Beth. She doesn't go to, she didn't go to retreat this year at Sauter because she's going to a retreat in Kentucky, I think. She's going to come next year, though. She better. Right, Beth? Mm -hmm. Even but, though Cheryl just called you old Beth? Well, it's not old in age. It's not like ARP Beth. Not like ARP. Not like Not me. like ARP Becky. Yeah. It's yeah. ARP. ARP Beth. Not ARP Beth. Um, she had talked about this place in Goshen, Indiana called Reverie. And there was a, there was a Harley store there in Goshen. So it all Perfect. like worked out. It was a little bit further away than I thought it was going to be. And I bought some. Are those unicorn tails? Yes, these are Madeline Tosh unicorn I'm tails. I'm surprised you didn't buy. They had those at. I have to look at my little list. Woven Arts. These were 50% off. Oh. That is how these came into my life. Was at 50% off. It seemed like it would have, again, this would have Liar. been fiscally go. irresponsible to not buy these. Like, look at how cute that is. For, for Stash, like, I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. For Stash. But doesn't everybody need these for Stash? What on earth am I going to do Don't you with have, those? um... Don't you have some extra duvet covers? You could start stuffing your yarn in one of those. And, <laughs> you know, need to do. you'd be sleeping under the wool mm -hmm. and it'd be perfect. Well, I've seen something that said, since we're not allowed to, since I'm not allowed to have an alpaca, I'm going to fill my house with alpaca yarn. So that since I can't. Right. I still think Greg and Rachel should get an alpaca. I think Greg and Rachel three should. Three or four. 
That'd be so Like fun. Morgan, Gus, and Lucy, oh. don't you guys need some alpacas? Yes. And we would we come do. and visit them. They're so they look cute. so snuggly. Mm hmm And friendly. Then we have to learn to spin. You wouldn't let me get that rug hooking kit. I, I do want to. How many years I ago? I want to try yarn dyeing someday. I've had the stuff for it over a year now, so I'm warming up to it. It's going to happen mm -hmm. someday. Just a little bit. Just want to try it. Mm -hmm. I think That's it, it what they like, all say. Seems like a lot of work. Just want to try it. Well, wasn't it, Kat said, because she couldn't find a color she wanted. That's what started her obsession. Couldn't find that Except color. Except I will hunt until I find the color that I want. Just keep looking. Well, so my archive sack that I said I pulled from the archives, again, I didn't feel good, so I didn't knit as much. And, and really, we're recording this a little early because they're both going away. So it hasn't been that long since our last confession. But so here's one of my giant feet socks. <laughs> Forgive me, Father, so, for I've sinned. <laughs> I did get one done. I have, I started the second That's one, cute. but I didn't get very far. Where is it? Somewhere in here. Yeah, this is all I got on the second one so far. Whoop. But That's I did cute. finish one. Yeah, I like so. that. That's nice. So I am getting somewhere, so not by the next podcast. Hopefully, I will have the second one done. And again, I, it was the go-to shorty sock pattern from Ravelry. And still, I don't know if it's free or not because I didn't go look. I've had it a while. And then the only other thing is I'm still working on that crazy goldfish memory and i i just got through the mm -hmm. andrea finished hers yes yeah, andrea andrea you need to get a life you so, have no life if you finish this I thing still, so this from here to here was our first podcast and from this marker to can you see the marker speaking about people that don't have lives here you go here it is oh that was the Maybe I'm not seeing Where it. Where did it go? Right there. Good Lord. That was the second week. And then... So Andrea then. and Becky need to go shopping for a life, is what yeah. I'm thinking. This took me longer than what I thought it would. And the other girls, there's girls at Joy. She's... She'll be done with hers when I come yeah, back I on Thursday, vacation. Like, she started it. Tomorrow she'll mm -hmm. be done with hers, so... And, um, Pat. Oh, I forget. Andrea, so, you want to go to a yarn con with and us? Karen. Not sure if you're going to watch this or not. Hopefully, if you watch it, Andrea and Yarn Karen Con, and Karen, Karen Con. Mm -hmm. we're taking the train out of Toledo early, very early, and we're coming home that night, very late, yeah, April sixth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Looks like you're getting the sunshine now. Mm -hmm. Getting a little glare back there. Or if anybody else wants to go to Yarn Con with us, just send us a message, and we can give you yes. the. We're we're going to leave from Toledo. Or if you just want to meet up at Yarn Con in Chicago, maybe we can go get some deep dish pizza mm -hmm. or do something like that. Christy Glass is supposed to be there. I'm hoping to mm. at least get a little picture with her or something. Yeah, that would be fun. Mm -hmm. or, or, you know, the, one of those ones where she's standing way back there and you're holding your phone up trying mm -hmm. to do a selfie. Mm -hmm. That's how I got a picture of Paula Dean and I by doing that. Oh, oh Paula Dean's back there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so oh, well. what else do you have going on? Let's see. Well, I I got a job, a real oh, job. Yeah. My job for a long time has been watching my grandkids, and I got a little part-time job at the Crafty Needle mm -hmm. to fill in when they need me, so that will be fun. Mm -hmm. How are you yeah. going to make any money? Like, there's no way. Like, it's Oh, like, yeah. That's not realistic. No way. Saving for Ryan It'll Beck, help. Though. It will help, um, you know, cover mm -hmm. my rent. My yarn. Your um, rent. My rent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my yarn expenses. So. It'll help cover your the hotel for Ryan Beck. Yes. Need a, more, you know, big job for that. Yeah. Um... Yeah, job. I think, we I got vacations. I, the only other thing I had on my notes was um, watch the Naughty Nitwits. Oh, yeah. Is it Naughty? Naughty. Naughty. <laughs> but they're Naughty. Oh. No. K-N-O-T-T-Y. Naughty yeah. Nitwits. 
Yeah, they're yeah. pretty funny. I haven't seen Grocery yeah, Girls. Like they haven't them. had anything they're out lately. They're due for some uh, podcasts. I'd be when I'm on vacation. So. I think I'll have I'll have internet when we're in Puerto Rico. So maybe it'll come out this weekend. We Don can watch it with me. He'll love that. He will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think I don't know. I think that's about it. I'm gonna put some pictures in of some of our yarn adventures. Yarn adventures and try to label them. We'll see how I do with that. I don't know. And then our next one, we can tell you about our. Our trips our and new yarn some adventures. new places we want. Mm-hmm. If you get the chance to come in the Crafty Needle, I'll be there on Thursdays. Mm-hmm. And let them know that you heard about them from us. Yes, yes. Give us some yeah. love. Um, we might be, there's something in August called the I-75 Yarn Crawl. And it goes from Michigan, like mid-Michigan, um, down through Tennessee, I think, right now. I don't know if it was going any further than that. And we might do some stuff at our yarn store during that time frame, too. So I might get to see people then. So look into that. Look look that up online, I-75 mm-hmm. Yarn Crawl. Also, we're going to do a giveaway when we reach our 100 subscribers. Maybe mm-hmm. next time we can give you a little hint on what the giveaway is. So if you haven't subscribed, mm-hmm. consider subscribing and telling your friends and and when we get to 100 subscribers, we're going to have, the big have a nice prize mm-hmm. for you. Maybe so. Becky's Becky's making her Pearl Pod bags, maybe one of those. Mm-hmm. And some mm-hmm. things that Crafty Needle's going to donate. So mm-hmm. it should be good. All right. So we will be back in... Oh, when we come back. You don't know when you're coming back from Florida, though. No, I don't know. So Bowling Green... It won't be um, too long. Bowling Green Fiber event is coming the 23rd of mm-hmm. March. Um so we could maybe film there. I don't know how loud Ooh. it's going to be. Yeah, I don't know. We can yeah. try it. Mm-hmm. You can take your basket and we I can, can set it up. Our there. little uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a not, I have a really nice stand for my iPad to record, but I don't M-I-A. know where it is. So no, it's on no a Longenberger basket propped mm-hmm. up on a light. It works. We propped it up on what else? Boxes those, and books. Those and books at the Crafty Needle. Yes. Mm-hmm. We have to be innovative. Have do to what be we got to do. We're getting faded out in the sun there so, too. Yeah. So we will be. We're going to go to. Well, hopefully, I'm going. One of the peas in the pot are going to be going to Bowling Green. Um, I should be back by. It's then. at the Wood County Fairgrounds, and what is it? Is it like the Black Swamp Fiber Arts something? Or I, I don't. Think so. I think that's what it is. But it's a fiber festival, a lot of local people. I don't... Oh, Bad Amy will be there. I love her yarn. Mm-hmm. And I Smell and Stash is usually there. And Behind the Pines. Behind the Pines. And mm-hmm. that yarn truck, that yarn birds. She's mm-hmm. pretty... Is Margaret going to be there from Heidi and Lana? I don't... I'm I not don't sure. Know. I didn't I don't see. think she was there last year, was she? No, no. I don't... Think so, but Yarnbirds carries a lot of her stuff, so maybe they'll be there. They'll sell Heidi and Lana's stuff at Yarnbirds booth. She doesn't. She's there without the truck, is what it said on the on her website. She has Yarnbirds has a really cool. What is it like a camper that was like remodeled into a yarn truck or? I think isn't it a is it a motorhome? It seems like it looks like a a yeah maybe like a motorhome or something that's. Been yeah, modified. It's, cute. it's really, really cute. That is like my dream job. Like that would be the best job. Driving Except around. you don't want to drive a camper through Chicago. No, I don't want to drive a camper through Chicago. Trailer. I don't want to no trailer, trailer through, through Chicago. Chicago. That yeah. is it was no good. That motorcycle yeah. trailer and the ice storm and you know there is a, some local people that redo airstreams for that stuff. So maybe some we win the lottery. Yes, that'd be it. If we win the lottery. my retreat center. I want a retreat center if I win the lottery. With a yarn store in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a yarn store. And then we could have like our two houses on the property. Yes. That is going to be our jam. Yeah. I'm hoping. A little hidden knitting room just for us. Mm-hmm. No boys mm-hmm. allowed. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought like for <laughs> we could have a house and a house and then like our yarn studio for just our personal yarn studio would be there. There you go. Like a really big and then... Like our stash could be set up in there, and then we could podcast from that. 
Sounds sounds like a plan. Pipe dreams is what it buy is. Buy a lottery ticket, right? Uh huh. Buy, buy a lottery, lottery ticket. ticket. Mm-hmm. All right. But I, I don't know. You think that's good? I think that's it. Okay. I don't have anything else. All right. We'll, we'll see, see you when we get back in from a couple vacation. weeks. See you at Black Swap Fiber Hopefully. Arts Festival. Yes. All righty. Mm-hmm. Bye bye. Make sure you. Um, put your thumbs up and subscribe.